Hey, this is Adam Baum from the IBMW forums, and I'm just going to show you the stock exhaust modification I've done. Um, which I got to have a link here in the video to uh, where this is posted in the forums. This is my 2002 BMW K1200 RS, um, and to uh, to work on this, I, I didn't want to just drill a big hole in the end. A lot of people do that, and Usually it uh, sounds like something between a Harley and a rusty tin shed and a tractor with a lisp. So usually just kind of farty sounding and generally awful. I didn't want to do that. Um, so what I did is took the plunge and I chopped the, uh, just sawzled the end right off of the can. Took off the little uh, bolt-on heat shield and did that. In doing so, I, uh, uh, well... It's kind of hard to get back together. Uh, the inside, between the inside can and this pretty little heat shield on the outside, which isn't really the can at all, there is a, it's a real tight gap, so it's hard to get in there with a the welder. Side effect of that being, um, yeah, you can see it doesn't sit flush in there anymore, and I had to clearance grind a little bit for that ugly seam. Um, but the good news is you don't have to do that. Um, that was mostly just for my R&D purposes. So... You can replicate the same exhaust, uh, same results I got um, by basically, uh, I guess, just going into, into what I discovered here when I took the end of the can off. The last chamber is really loud. Um, I just drove it around with a, the end of the can lopped off, and that was that was way louder than I wanted it. My my goal was not to make it loud, just so that I could basically hear it. I wanted it to be barely quiet enough that I couldn't hear it on a highway cruise, and that's. I, I've accomplished that, and, and the good news of this method is you can kind of experiment with it. So, uh, so really, all you got to do is make a bypass from this loud portion to the tailpipe. Um, and you can see right in here, uh, this portion, this used to be just solid pipe. Um, just basically cut that out. That's about a quarter of an inch length uh, of section of pipe just, just removed out of there. Um, and you should be able to do this without cutting the whole end of the can off like I did. Um, and you should be able to get in there like a, a Dremel tool with a flex shaft extension. Uh, oh, also, if anyone's curious, how I cleaned this up was a couple hours watching a movie and a Scotch Bright pad, and then uh, this little detail work I did with a Dremel tool and a wire wheel. It didn't turn out quite as pretty, but um, I've got about 10,000 miles in this modification. Did it about a year ago. Um, it's been through a few hundred miles of rain, so you can see. Just the, uh, the polish job on the can, just the end here, actually held up pretty well. But, uh, all right, enough talking here. Uh, let's see how it actually sounds. So, uh, as you can see, it's not terribly loud. Uh, I'm just speaking the same volume I was before. Also, I'm inside of a, uh, a pole barn, as you can see, which is pretty much the most effective echo chamber there is, so, uh... And again, that's, uh, it's plenty noticeable around town, but uh, you still can barely just not hear it on the highway. So for me, that's just about perfect. And uh, again, this is like a, oh, I don't know, quarter inch gap maybe between the uh, internal pipe and the external pipe. Um, also, there was some packing in there, which is gone. It's some nice looking steel wool packing, but uh, I left it out. So that's it.